Have you ever wondered why so many brands give free stuff away or give free trials to us? Isn't that a loss for them? Well, they aren't losing by doing that. You should watch this video if you want to know the answer to this. Hello guys, this is Shweta and welcome to the world of All Street Mojo. What is the endowment effect? The endowment effect is a concept in behavioral e economics that states that when a person owns something, they tend to value it more than when they don't own it. Think about that jacket you wanted to buy for so long, but you can't stop wearing it after you buy it. Or that expensive MacBook you bought, but just when you started using it, you started feeling that the spend was worth it. The endowment bias is a cognitive bias that ultimately increases the probability of you retaining a thing compared to the likelihood of you acquiring it. Yes, it's a psychological bias that can cause due to various reasons. But to know that, you first need to understand how the endowment effect works. How does the endowment effect works? Because of the endowment effect, sellers may ask for a higher price for items they have used and owned. As a result, it may often exceed the item's true value. But the endowment effect can cause by three things. Loss aversion, status quo bias, or even the psychological law of inertia. Researchers also use other theories to define the endowment effect like a reference price theory and motivated taste change theory. The reference price theory talks about different reference prices that people may have in mind while they buy or sell things. For example, a seller will not like to price a product below market value, while a buyer expects the rate to follow its worth. Also, the motivated taste change theory implies that once a person has bought an item and used it, this can influence their decision to purchase the same item for the second time. I'm hoping you have now got quite enough idea about this concept of endowment theory. To take your understanding to a better level, here is an example. By the way, this is an actual experiment done by Daniel Kahneman, Jack Nech and Richard Teller, the researchers that propounded this theory. So the experiment gathered a group of people. Half of them were given a mug and the other half was not given anything. Later, the people given the mug were given a chance to sell the mug to the other half. But you know what happened? They were unwilling to sell the mug for the market price and demanded a higher price. While on the other hand, the buyers agreed to buy the mug only if they got it for a price less than the market price. These days, businesses and marketers use this theory to their advantage. Retailers are using smart tactics to instill a sense of ownership in customers' mind so that a sale can happen. Some conventional tactics include free trials for a short period to induce affection so that the customer values the product or service further. Other typical applications are distributing free stuff, a free return policy and virtual try-on plugins on online portals. Is the endowment effect a good thing or a bad thing? Well, it isn't always a good phenomenon and you should know how to avoid falling for it. The effect can lead to you valuing things irrationally. It can also lead to investors holding on to stocks due to emotional attachment even though they should sell them. So to avoid this effect, you must look at things objectively rather than from a subjective perspective. Being informative about the bias will help you identify and let go of limiting thoughts. You'll understand why you are keeping something that is not so useful to you, allowing you to make a more rational decision to get rid of it. Another way to avoid this bias is through the application of motivation. Motivation is a psychological factor influencing consumers' decision making. And several industries use motivation-based strategies to change people's feelings about things. This way, marketers can influence potential customers to change their status quo or make their products seem more valuable. This was all about the concept of endowment effect. We hope you have learned a lot from this video. We regularly keep coming up with such content on finance. So make sure you have subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out on our content. Also, don't forget to give this video a like and maybe share the knowledge with others. See you in the next one.